In this video, we are going to explain about this uh, circuit uh, using Thevenin theorem. We have to find the equivalent circuit equivalent voltage across the terminal that is given as x x dash. Okay. So uh, to apply the Thevenin theorem, what is the first step? So first step is that remove the RL. Remove the RL means where it has asked. So where we have to find the equivalent Thevenin circuit. So where you have to find equivalent Thevenin circuit. Okay. So to uh, after removing the RL or across the terminal where we have to measure the Thevenin's equivalent voltage or Thevenin's equivalent circuit we need to remove that resistance. So in this case so this is the resistance across which we need to find the voltage. So for that we have to remove that resistance and then we have to find what is the VTH and the RTH. So after removing this, so the new circuit that I will draw, so it will be looking like this. So here X point is there and then this 20 ohm resistance is there, then this 40 ohm resistance is there and the 1 ampere current source is given here. Okay. And this side we have this 88 voltage source. Now the circuit will be looking like this where a here x and here there is the x dash. What I have done? I have just removed this resistance here. Now we need to solve this to find what is the voltage across this x x dash. So we need to find v x x dash so that is also equals to my v t h or the Thevenin's equivalent voltage. So to do that. Yeah, so, let me just write this uh, values. So, this is 10, this is 20, this is 40. Now, to do that, what I can do? So, here for easier uh, calculation, so I can convert this to a voltage source by the method of source transformation. So, if I do that, now the new circuit will, how it will look like? So, let us draw the new circuit again. So, this is the resistance, this is the point x and then we have the 20 ohm. Here after converting that with the voltage source what will happen? So the resistance will be in series with the voltage source. Okay? And here this side we have the voltage source here. So this is point x and here if I draw the line again this will be your point x dash and the values are 10, 20, 40. Now while removing this volt, uh, current source what is the voltage value? So here the voltage will be equals to the resistance into the current, current was 1 so that is equals to 40 volt. Now here the total voltage here is 40 volt. Now let us consider that current I is flowing in the circuit. So if I can find the current I then I can find the what is the voltage drop there. Okay. So the current I will be how much in this circuit? So the current I flowing is equals to this one is 88. So if I consider the current is flowing in this way, so this is total voltage that is 88 minus 40 volt divided by the total resistance here. Total resistance here how much? This is 20. So 10 plus 20 plus 40. So if I calculate this, this value is coming as 0 0.6857 ampere. So this is the current value. So now what I have to find? I have to find what is the voltage across the x x dash, what is the voltage across x and x dash. So that we can write v x x dash is equals to that we can write as v t is also that is equals to 88 minus 10 i. Okay. So 88 minus 10 i so that much of voltage will be available here. So you can calculate from this way you can calculate from this way also. So that will be 40 into <coughs> sorry 40 this 40 volt minus 40 plus 20 is 60 60 i and that will be minus. Okay. You can calculate in any way. So if I calculate that the value is coming how much that is equals to 88. So this is 88. 88 minus how much 10 into what is the value of current. So that we have found out that is 0 0.6857. Okay. So this is the voltage value Vth and that value will be coming as 
81.143 volts. So, this is my VTH now. So, if you are getting confused that why we have drawn this. So, now this circuit. So, if I just represent the circuit in this way. So, here my X and X test point is here. Okay, and from here one resistance is connected and along here the plus minus. So, 88 voltage is here. Okay, so, the voltage here if I consider the KVL here. So, I can find the voltage here. So, this is how we are considering. So, virtually what we are doing? We are considering that we have to find the voltage here. So, I am applying the KVL in this circuit and that is how I have written this one. The voltage is equals to 88 minus 10 I. So, this is the Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Now, what I have to find? We have to find the RTH also. So, we have to find the RTH. Now, to find the RTH, what is the process? So, for to find the RTH, we have to remove all the sources that is present in the circuit. So, for that, I will remove this 88 volt and this 40 volt and after removing what I have to do? I have to do the short circuit there at the position of voltage source. So, for that, I can read out the circuit like this again. So, this is 10, this is 20 and this is 40. So, here voltage source is there. So, that is why it will be short circuited and here one other voltage source is there. This in, this will be again short circuited. Okay. After short circuiting this, I know this value is 10, this value is 20 and this value is 40. Now, this part and this part is my terminal X and X dash. Okay. So, in this terminal, so how to solve this? First, we see these two are in series. So, I can represent this circuit again as, so this is your X and this part will be your 60 ohm. So, this is your 60 ohm and then this will be the final circuit. So, this is X dash. Now, what will be your RTH value? So, we can see here 10 and 60 is here. So, basically this 10 and 60 are in uh, are in parallel. Why this is in parallel? So, you can see if I redraw the circuit like this. So, for better understanding if x is here and x dash is here okay, and how the circuit is there. So, this is one side it is connected as 10 and from here also another resistance of 60 is connected here. Okay, In this case I can say 10 and 60 are in parallel. So, what will be the RTH now? So, RTH has to be calculated here. So, this will be the value of RTH. So, RTH will be equals to parallel combination of 10 and 60 ohm. So, that is equals to 10 into 60 divided by 10 plus 60. So, that will be coming as 8.57 ohms. Okay, This is my Thevenin's equivalent. Now, what will happen? So, this complete circuit, now I can represent that circuit as a Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So, this is the RTH value and this is the VTH value that we got and here I have to connect the RL. So, RL is how much? 50 ohm. So, this point is X and this point is my X dash. So, RTH value is how much? We have calculated RTH as 8.57. So, here it will be 8.57. Okay. Sorry, not this one. Yeah. So, here this is 8.57 okay. and this RT, uh, VTS value how much we calculated? So, the VTS value is 81.14. So, here I will write 81.14 volt. Now, what the question is to find the voltage across this X X dash. So, how do we find that again? So, we can apply the voltage division rule here. Total voltage is here and what much how much voltage is available here? how much voltage is available here. So, if I find V x x dash that is equals to how much V t h that is 81.14 into along which resistance we, we want to calculate that is 50 divided by 50 plus the R t h value that is 8.57. Okay, so, this value will come as 69.7. Sixty-nine point two seven volts. So this will be my final answer. 
वी एक्स एक्स टैस वोल्टेज अक्रॉस द एक्स एक्स टैस विल बी सिक्सटी नाइन पॉइंट टू सेवन ओम नाउ यू माइट बी कन्फ्यूजिंग वी कैलकुलेटेड वी एक्स एक्स टैस हियर अगेन वी आर राइटिंग द वी एक्स एक्स टैस हियर सो वाई दैट इज फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द वी टी एस सो वी कैलकुलेटेड द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस वी एक्स एंड एक्स वी एक्स एक्स टैस सो वी कैलकुलेटेड द वोल्टेज वी एक्स एक्स टैस अलॉन्ग और अक्रॉस दिस टू टर्मिनल्स नाउ फाइनली द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग सो इन दिस टर्मिनल व्हाट इज द वोल्टेज सो इन दिस टर्मिनल व्हाट इज द वोल्टेज सो दिस टर्मिनल कनेक्टेड रेजिस्टेंस इज 50 ओम वी हैव टू कनेक्ट बैक द रेजिस्टेंस हियर आफ्टर फाइंडिंग द बी टी एच एंड आर टी एस एंड देन विथ द रूल ऑफ वोल्टेज डिविजन रूल वी कैन कैलकुलेट व्हाट इज द वैल्यू अक्रॉस दिस रेजिस्टर एंड दैट्स कम्स आउट टू बी सिक्सटी वोल्ट्स ओके सो दिस आई होप दिस इज क्लियर इन दिस फिगर सो वी हैव टू स्टेप्स वन इज कैलकुलेटिंग द वी टी एच एंड अनदर इज कैलकुलेटिंग द आर टी एच ओके सो आर टी एच एंड वी टी एच आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग वॉट यू हैव डन वी हैव रिप्रेजेंटेड दिस एज एक्वेलेंट सर्किट सो दिस विल बी योर दिस इज योर वी टी एच एंड दिस इज योर आर टी एच एंड दिस इज योर आर एल अकॉर्डिंग टू थियोरी वी हैव रिमूव द आर एल कैलकुलेटेड दिस टू वैल्यूज एंड अगेन रिकनेक्टेड द आर एल एंड वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड वॉट इज द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम and uh, next video we'll be seeing another problem